what's going on YouTube welcome back to another one of my videos so today's video I'm actually gonna be doing a uh, Favorite pieces. So I picked two of my friends to my right. We have Che, who's also an online personal stylist at Essence. And then we have Arvin. You guys have seen him countless times. He just wants to keep coming back to my what channel. That's, that's what's happening, you know? <laughs> so yeah, anyway, we're gonna be choosing two of our favorite pieces and styling them. I thought this would be a cool concept. So yeah, man, so stay tuned. And as always, guys, if you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and like. And yeah, let's hop right into it. So here, okay, so here's what we decided. I had a bunch of questions that I wanted to ask them. I was like, okay, so what do you like about the piece? So that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna be answering. And then do you see yourself wearing this long-term wise? How did you come to select it with everything you have in your wardrobe? And is this a piece you tend to gravitate towards regardless of your mood or how you feel given a specific day? Or would you say it's more of a special occasion uh, piece? And then lastly, how does this piece make you feel? So we kind of went along that sort of concept because all of us kind of have a bunch of um, pieces or garments that we probably like wear all the time that we would say like those are our favorite pieces just because we get a lot of wear out of them. But then we have other pieces that like, we we'll wear once in a while, but it's always like nice when you throw it on. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and start. So I started with my random identities blazer. Arvin was kind of talking about how his vested blazer is also kind of like nice and he tends to gravitate towards it quite a lot. Uh, so for me, my random identities one, it's mostly because I personally like tend to wear this with anything. This blazer is kind of just so versatile and in terms of like longevity, I've, I can always see myself wearing it, like whether I'm like, in my early 20s, late 20s, or even like late 30s, I'll, this is a blazer that I'll always gravitate towards. So that's one of the reasons why um, I picked this piece. Um, and also another thing that I would say is that it's, you can wear it in a casual manner. Like I could have thrown on a hoodie with some sweats and some boots and I'm good. Or you could kind of dress it up a little bit, which I've done countless times on my Instagram where I've dressed it up with some more like um, nicely fitted uh, trousers and some derbies or boots. So yeah. So, uh, for me, that's it on my first piece. And then we have Arvin that's gonna talk about his. Uh, and you picked your Yoji blazer, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so one of my questions like was, do you, do you find yourself picking an item based off like how you're feeling, your mood, or were you kind of going more so with like, I feel like this piece, I would kind of wear it 10 years from now, mm -hmm. or I can wear it with anything. Yeah, I feel like now I'm trying to cut down on my closet size mm -hmm. and find like timeless pieces where I would want to wear it like 10 years from now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense. And like you tend to kind of gravitate more towards like, you know, maybe like, yes black pieces but you're always looking for something specific like you won't kind of like invest so much into like flamboyant or colorful pieces yeah, yeah, yeah. is there a reason for that um i feel like i like stuff that has like subtle details that are like really mm -hmm. unique mm -hmm. um and like interesting shapes is like really important like silhouettes and shapes um yeah things that are like subtle where i could still wear it every day but if you look closer you could see cool details like that details. make it different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's that was the case with your blazer, and I think like with a lot of your pieces too. Like yeah. you find like little details, like especially your Yoji pieces. Like you find like little details here and there, yeah. um, which is kind of cool. I know, like you mentioned that like your double-breasted bla blazer, for example, that you wear quite often. Mm -hmm. Would you consider that also your favorite piece? And also, when you consider it like a favorite piece, is it because? you wear it often or is it just because like you know what from the looks of it the design of it this is my favorite piece mm, uh, i feel like definitely a combination of both mm -hmm. like with the double breasted blazer, blazer. I definitely it's like a go-to like every day um if i just want to throw it on and go outside um like it, i don't have to think about what to put on yeah but with a blazer like that it's like it's a little bit more dressed up i guess like more unique fair enough yeah but it's still um, subtle enough where I can throw it on anytime I want if I just wanted to like go yeah. out and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, cool. That first piece you showcased is super solid. And uh, what brand is it? It's Junior. Junior, right? 
And why was that your favorite piece? What would you say makes it your favorite piece in your wardrobe? Honestly, for one, being sentimental because I found it on heroin, actually, it's a funny story. And um, how did you find it? Just like was going through, I guess. I was just trying to find yeah, any piece that I really liked. And then I remember showing Arvin. I was like, oh, like this piece is so sick, whatever. And then a couple weeks later, I was like, oh, I like it's sold out. Like I was gonna buy it kind of. I was like debating because yeah. it's such an iconic piece. Yeah. And then maybe like a week after was my birthday, and then he got it for me for my birthday. Oh, so perfect. It's also sentimental, but it's also um, such an iconic piece. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The yeah. detailing on it, the structure—it's yeah. just beautiful. I yeah. Think, so. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think that like that's kind of like sometimes with favorite pieces too. It's kind of nice if it's gifted, especially from like someone special. Like I feel like it kind of has more meaning. You know, uh, but mm -hmm. on top of that, the junior piece, like honestly, like it's probably one as well for me, probably one of my favorite pieces that you have in your wardrobe that I've seen, you know, like I think that like even the way you styled it with the whole outfit, I think it looks absolutely great. Uh, and then you had the, what loafers were you wearing? Um, the Shushutong. Shushutong, yeah. And those ones you just recently picked them up as well. Um, yeah. And I think they look, they look amazing with, uh, with the jackets. So yeah, so that's our favorite pieces. One of our favorite pieces. We're gonna move into our second pieces and I'm gonna start. So second piece, uh, for me, I picked my Ami Paris orange trousers that I've had for about four or five years now. They're and they're brown, huh? <laughs> they're, are they brown? <laughs> yeah, they're not brown. brown. Are they brown? They're orange. That's brown. That's Fam, brown. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my orange pants. So anyway, so okay. First, starting off, uh, the reason why I picked these is not necessarily because I get a lot of wear out of them. I just feel like because I tend to gravitate more towards like black clothing and black sort of like minimal pieces that I wear every day. I feel like having something like this in my wardrobe has definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone and just like um, in terms of trousers have always been like one of the things that I sort of gravitate towards when I'm shopping like I always enjoy kind of like buying into a nice pair of trousers and when I first saw these these were absolutely perfect and I feel like I've actually managed to wear them with so many different things in my wardrobe and it's a good color like I feel like with my skin tone and like with the pieces that I have in my wardrobe the, these pants have sort of managed to kind of stand the time like I could see myself wearing these For years to come and I feel like even though the color is quite loud You can kind of dress it in a way that it's a bit more like sort of Minimalistic like with a pair of derbies and like a sweater like a black sweater with just a t-shirt and You're pretty good. So so yeah, I'll definitely say that these Ami trousers have been one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe that I own, even though I don't necessarily wear it all the time, they're still kind of like a piece that I can throw on here and there and I'm always happy to, to sort of style it in so many different ways. We have Arvin's second piece. Yeah. Which one was it? Oh, uh, it's actually this jacket that oh, yeah. I'm wearing. Yeah. <laughs> It's a Vivian Westwood jacket that I got from like a secondhand store in uh, Montreal. Mm -hmm. And again, why is it your favorite piece? Like for you too, just same for me and even Che, we usually kind of tend to dress in a lot of like black pieces. Yeah. So would you, like what made you gravitate towards this, you know? Yeah, I, um, same with you, like I, I'm very trouser oriented, so mm -hmm. it's hard to find like unique top pieces especially like light jackets that like in between season 100 um piece yeah so yeah. um this jacket just like it has such a unique shape yeah like, very like crop fit yeah 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 so and would you say that like if you kind of look at um well like you said okay one of the reasons why you gravitated towards the the piece was because of the cut the design and also you know, you probably must have thought about it twice because it wasn't like a black color. Yeah. Did that bother you? Like, did you kind of at some point hesitate buying into it because it wasn't black? Um, a little bit, but it's like gray neutral tone, so yeah. it's like not that bad. Yeah. Usually, like if it's like a brighter color, mm -hmm. that's when I'll like 
try to step away from it because yeah. I know I won't get too much yeah. wear out of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I feel like I've kind of seen you style it in so many different ways too. Because like you said, I think that even though we say that like, oh yeah, like we don't necessarily tend to gravitate towards color, like I'm wearing color right now. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the times it's just how you wear it. I yeah, think you yeah. can kind of like, if you have style like you or Che, like you can kind of still put off like a quite a colorful outfit in a, in a way that like suits you and your style, you know? Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Is there any other piece that you were kind of thinking would be your favorite other than this one? Oh, definitely. I feel like I, so many. it's hard to like, say like what's my favorite piece yeah because there's a lot of pieces that i love and like that i wear a lot yeah i try to like think of like i guess i don't want to think necessarily in pieces but like as a wardrobe as a whole if everything makes sense together good point more than like just buying into like oh because this is like a rare archive piece i want to get it but it doesn't really like fit into your style and doesn't fit into your wardrobe you know good point good yeah. point Yeah, and then we have Che. What was what was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was this piece. This is the piece you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about it because I've had it for quite a while, I think. Yeah, I think I've had it for like two or three years. Uh -huh. Um, I got it from Valley Village for That's like dope. probably like ten bucks, and I honestly love thrifting. Obviously, during COVID, like you can't can't really thrift anymore yeah, yeah. or as often, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, find, I feel like I have a lot of pieces that I honestly love that I've yeah. thrifted before and this is one of my favorites. I don't think I'm ever Taking gonna get out. rid of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Would you, would you, um, is, it, is there a particular, cause for me, like, like yeah. I've known you for some time and I feel like you do gravitate towards this piece quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So would that be the, one of the reasons why it's your actual favorite piece? Um, or, would you, or would you say it's more so like if you kind of look into your wardrobe, you're like, you know what, I like this piece because it just stands out. But is it also because you get a lot of wear out of it? I mean, I do get a lot of wear out of it, mm -hmm. but um, I feel like unlike Arvin, for example, who mm -hmm. loves black and loves detail and loves like the silhouette of things, for me, I'm like 50-50 on color and um, like wearing black. Yeah. So like this really stands out to me as like one of my colorful pieces I guess yeah yeah um so I tend to wear it quite often because yeah. of it yeah and <laughs> I also find that like actually like yeah to touch on the whole all black thing like I feel like we honestly just wear black because it's more comfortable but I actually like I feel like you out of at least like us like you wear so much color and you yeah. actually do quite a good job of like including color into like even like some of the pieces that you might have in your wardrobe you still manage to kind of like play around with like black and like other colorful pieces like mm -hmm. you know pink or like yellow or like this piece and have you always kind of dressed in that manner or do you do, do you think that like that kind of it's more so now that you do that um like what makes you confident to dress in colorful clothes honestly like, the way i dress for like it's, it's really driven by my mood and oh. like it's very emotional to me. Okay. So like however I feel for the day is how I decide to style myself, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like for example, I do wear way more color during the summer as opposed to winter, but that's for obvious reasons, obviously like heat, but mm -hmm. also, I don't know, when I wear color, I feel like in a lighter mood, if that makes sense. Whereas if I wear black, um, not saying I'm in a bad mood at all, but I feel more like, I don't know how to say, how to explain like, this, or like I feel strong and mm -hmm. I feel like a, like a powerful woman. I don't really know how to explain that, <laughs> like, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's like very two different moods. But yeah. I but I love change and I um, you like even change. yeah when it comes to like my appearance, even with my hair, whatever yeah, it may be, yeah. like I'm I'm always down to like change it up. Yeah, so I feel like yeah, I think that's really cool. Like and and I actually admire that because that was actually one of the questions that we're kind of thinking about when we were kind of saying like do you pick a piece based off your mood on that day and in most cases yes you know mm -hmm. except for us that just tend to gravitate towards just like a, a black blazer and some black trousers we're more like like for me i feel like i gravitate towards that because it's more simplistic mm -hmm. and i kind of don't want to be stared at because one of the things that i've kind of noticed in montreal like I, I guess you guys can kind of agree with this is as soon as you whip out, like even just like you try to dress up a little bit, so many stares, you know? And sometimes I feel like yeah. it's intimidating a little bit. I've learned to kind of like look past it, but I think it's even more so the case. Like when I whip out my like brown, brown, orange <laughs> trousers, 
um, I get so many stares, you know, and then sometimes it's uncomfortable, but you kind of just learn to push past that. Do you find that happens to you a lot with like when you wear your colorful? Yes, but I feel like I'm really used to it because I'm mm -hmm. I'm literally like a foot tall. So like yeah. people look at me regardless of yeah. like what I wear. So I'm not necessarily like thinking about like, oh, am I going to get like a lot of people looking at me if I wear like bright colors or like a crazy outfit, mm -hmm. crazy outfit, I mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. um, it's really just like my personal, like, how do I feel for that day? What is my mood? Mm -hmm. It's very mm -hmm. emotional to me. That's dope. Would you say for you, like, when it comes to, like, you know, wearing colors and things like that, like, would you say there is part of you that doesn't want to wear colors because you don't want to be stared at? Or would you say that it's just something that you just don't do? Uh, definitely both. Like, both, yeah. I do feel like a, a lot of style has to do with, like, even your cultural background, your upbringing and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I tend to not like to be all up in, like, People's, people's faces. faces, you know, yeah, a little bit. 100%, like, yeah. I kind of just like to like be by myself, do my own thing. Yeah. And like people who like enjoy fashion or whatever and like know the pieces I wear are cool. Yeah. You know, but yeah. like I don't necessarily want like the attention that of people staring at me, you know. Hundred percent, yeah. yeah. And it's actually quite funny because even when you kinda try to I guess for lack of a better word, dim down your style. You still got kind of gonna get a lot of looks just because like it's like intricate or like people are like what the fuck are you wearing? Yeah, you know? yeah, for um, sure. And I think it's important, like at least what I, what I always sort of advocate on my channel is like it's so important for you to kind of like push past that, mm -hmm. like especially for sort of like the younger generation that's like into clothing and stuff because we always we all feel that you know yeah, like yeah, all yeah. of us when we dress up like you know you're like oh, why are they staring at me or like you would think twice before wearing a specific piece like, i remember there's a pair of trousers that pair of trousers that had like the kilt in front i mm. forgot what the brand was yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. it looked fire you yeah, know yeah. and i'm like it's still you could still see that it's a pair of trousers yeah. but just because of the little kilt in front it kind of looks like a skirt mm -hmm. and someone that's not necessarily familiar with fashion might be like Yo, what the fuck are you wearing? Mm. You know, so it requires a lot of confidence for you to be like, yo, I'm gonna whip this out and I'm gonna yeah, walk yeah. out the door. That, that's weird, cause like, I don't know, for me, when it's like, as long as it's black, if it's a crazy shape or whatever, I don't really care if people yeah. stare. But for some reason, if it's like just super bright and just out there, I, I personally just don't feel like it's myself. So yeah, when I feel like myself, and like if people are staring cool, but uh, like I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's more like oh if I don't feel 100% like this outfit is me And then people start staring. That's when I'm kind of like oh, I don't really like the attention or like I don't that's, like people staring at me though. That's a that's a great point. Yeah. I feel like I, I I can definitely align with that I think it has more so to do with how comfortable you feel in your clothes Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if if you feel comfortable like when whenever I wear my pieces and I'm super comfortable I don't really care, you yeah, know, yeah. it's just I guess your point is, you know If you already don't feel comfortable and people are staring then it makes you feel even more uncomfortable mm -hmm. So so yeah, that is it on today's video. Thank you Arvin and thank you Che for joining me and uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more videos like this. I'll definitely shoot some more videos with Arvin and Che. But yeah, man, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content. You can follow these two on Instagram. I'll leave all their uh, links down below. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.